special effects makeup kit. I have some stuff that's not in the kit that's sitting off to the side, so just be aware. Alright, so I keep it in this pretty big box. You can see that I'm like stuck to it. It's a fairly large tackle box. I thought that it was amazing. It has an opening here and here. And then this whole top part comes up. And then, right here on the sides, they open up. Does that on the, right there too. And then here, opens up to reveal three boxes, which slide right out. So, yeah. Um, and then to make this less tackle boxy, I've put a sticker there on the side. One there on the back, and this one's actually peeling, which sucks. And one on the back. So, about those boxes on the inside, they are easily interchangeable. Um, you can buy other boxes that can replace it. It does come with three boxes, though. Um, all three of them look the same. They look like this. They have a big opening and multiple side pieces. And then this right here is um, the dividers. My dad got me two of them to replace. This really big open one that I just plan, that I plan to keep prosthetics in because I make some big ones, or I plan to make some bigger ones. And one that's already in there, this one. So yeah. I'm going to start out by using the top side pieces, um, the ones, man I can't describe anything, these ones. So the one on the left side is just full of these for now, Ooh, I'm dropping them, these divider things, I'm dropping them. <laughs> Uh, they're like clear, as you can tell, and they're like already cut up. They're just these things, which is actually what this is full of, but the ones that are like not cut up yet, the dividers for all the bins. And then the right one only has two items in it. It has my Sally Hansen scissors and just some tweezers that I have. That's all I've kept. That I keep up there at the moment, but I plan to change it. So now I'm going to open up this really big white this section. This is the inside of the box. Um, yeah, I can totally show you things better now. Um, in here are those things. And then over here. And then these clip like so. There's another one. And then just to open it. Okay, so over here I have all of my brushes. Um, hang on, my cat is like meowing. I don't know if this is helping at all. Um, but yeah, I have quite the array of brushes. And then on this side I have some sponges. I wanted to show you guys this side up close. Um, I've got some clean sponges in the back, a q-tip head apparently, that was probably an accident, um, some cotton balls. This was a big orange wheel that I've cut up into multiple pieces so you have more sponge. Um, there's another clean sponge and another one. This is this thing that came in like powder foundation. And then these two are not, I'm sorry I suck at filming. Um, they're cut up and this one has red on it. And this one is cut up and has purple and blue on it. Can you see that? Yeah. That way I can get really awesome bruise designs without having to cut up a new sponge every single time. So I'm going to show you what's in the middle. And then 
Actually, no, I'm going to show you my brushes and then what is in there. Um, I have a lot of brushes, as you can see. Um, which is slightly strange. A lot of people don't have that many brushes. Um, I have a lot. I was turning on the light so you can see my brushes better. So to start it off, I have three of them, which I most likely will never use. I've actually used this one before, so I might use this black one. This, these two, um, the black one is an e.l.f. Professional Brow Comb and Brush, and this one I think is Maybelline, but they're just the brow comb and brush. And then this one is the e.l.f. Professional Eyelash and Brow Wand, which just kind of looks like this. It's just like mascara thingy, like, oh, doing my mascara, but not really, because there's nothing on it. It's just a brush. The next one I probably won't use, or the next two, is this, I think it's Maybelline as well, just a foam applicator. And this is an e.l.f. Professional Smudge Eye Sponge. Can you even tell? Can you tell? I'm trying to see. Yeah, you can't tell. It's just a sponge. Next, I have this brush. It's just another one of those mysterious Maybelline ones. It's angled. It could be a cover girl. I have no idea. It's just like an angled base brush. I think it's a crease brush, actually. I think that's what it is. An angled... I have no idea. Next are three that I throw on the floor that I usually use with my alcohol activated palette or palettes. I don't just have one. Um, this one I have a tendency to use in in like the blood colors and stuff. It's just flat. It's the Elf Professional Eyeliner Brush. I don't think I would be able to use that for eyeliner. It's too big. Um, this one I also use for reds, but this one is like mainly for mixing to make blood colors. This is the e.l.f. Professional Lip Defining Brush. Not a very good lip size. Sorry if you heard that, this is my phone. Yeah. Um, and then this one I use for like all the other colors, because most of them are light. Um, if I'm going to use a black one, then I'm going to use... Um, this one, the lip defining one, and I use this for like mixing on my palette. This is the e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush. Then I have this brush that I don't actually know what I use it for. I think I use it for like getting into smaller areas of uh, the makeup. This is the professional, the e.l.f. Professional Concealer Brush. And then this one, which is great for blending like uh, foundation, like, foundation, uh, onto, like, latex, like, if you have a big neck wound, be, like, to blend it in. This is the e.l.f. Professional Foundation Brush. Then I have three brushes that I find practically the same. This black one is another one of those mysterious brands that actually is kind of gross. It has, like, chunks of wax in it, and it's just a powder brush. Then, this one is small and angled. Can you tell that it's angled? I swear I'm not holding it at an angle. It's totally straight. Um, this is the e.l.f. Professional Blush Brush, but once again, powder foundations that I have in one of the boxes. Um, sorry, my cat is like laying right there. And that is the... I already told you what that is. It's the blush brush. And then there's this fat one, which is like awesome. And can you see the stuff come off of it? I've already used it. Um, I think I'll use this one more than this one. This one's probably going to be for like smaller projects. This is the Elf Professional Total Face Brush. I can see why. It covers like my entire face in one sweep. Um, so yeah. Now I'm going to move on to what is in the middle. Oh wait, no, I actually have one brush left. It's also an Elf Professional, but it's white, which is actually really good for me because then I can color the tip red with nail polish. Um, it just looks like this. It is 
it's like, sorry for the lights like reflecting off of that. Um, this is the Elf Professional Defining Eye Brush, but I use it as my blood brush. I don't know if you can see the blood there on the side because I've spilled many times. Um, yeah. Okay, so moving on to what's in the middle. I already showed you this, but I'll just go into detail. It is CoverGirl uh, Classic Ivory Liquid Foundation. It's awesome, and I already took the sticker off because when I'm in the car, I get bored and I feel stickers. It's a problem. Um, next, sorry, my chair squeaks. I don't feel like standing. Um, next is this thing of baby oil that I have. It's just mainly for uh, blending wax into the skin. Most people use like Vaseline, but I think that just makes a bigger mess. That's just me personally. Um, this is a bottle, and it looks like it just has water in it, but it's actually 91% alcohol. And this is just the Walgreens brand. I have the entire bottle with me. This is just more convenient to carry in my thing, because this is a pretty big part of this. And I do have three more bottles of it. They are awesome, and I think I'm going to... Sorry, my chair is irritating me. I think I'm going to put some baby oil in it. That way I don't have to carry around, like, this thing. So... It just opens, you put it straight in there. It's one of these ones where like you like pop it open like and squeeze and it comes out. It came in a travel makeup bag kit thing that I got. Next are my liquid latex. I actually have three bottles, but these are the only two in the top. This is the Mayron um one. Can you tell it's kind of white, like I can't exactly tell. I don't think you'll be able to tell. And then this is my Ben Nye one. It's like brand new. I've never even used it. But it's more of a skin tone. Oh my god, you can actually tell on camera for once. I have re-recorded this video so many times. This is the first time you've been able to kind of tell. I'm excited. <laughs> um, next, I have this bottle. And if I would lay it in the thing, facing the other way, it would say blood right here. It says it on the side. You can kind of sort of see it, but this is the blood that I make at home, and I just keep it in a travel tube because it's easier that way. This is the same squeezy top thing. And the good thing is since I make it at home, you can put in smells, so it's pepperminty. It's awesome. Next, I have my third degree bottle jar thing. A and bottle jar thing B in the color translucent or transparent, whichever you say. I think they're amazing. Then next I have two larger containers, Ben Nye Simulated Bone Wax and Ben Nye Nose and Scar Wax. They're awesome. I had the Mayron Scar Wax for the longest time and it was gross. It was pink. It was hard as a rock. You couldn't blend it. It just was disgustingly hard and I wish I had not thrown it away because I would show you how gross it is. But this stuff is so soft and so amazing and actually skin toned. They're awesome. And then the bone wax is white. It's actually really easy to make a mess with. But it's just as soft as this. If all, if, blah, blah, if anything, it's actually softer. Which is awesome because I love soft wax products. So, last but not least, there's something on the bottom. I don't feel like pulling it out of my box, but I do have a second one in case one's dirty. It's just a makeup towel. It says Happy Haunting on the bottom with a skull. And basically, it's just a wipe like your brush is on. So, like, if you dip it in water to clean it off. Because um, I have a water-activated face paint set. So, if you dip the water in there, like, if you dip it in the water, then you can, like, wipe it in the... Um, on the towel and just leave a mark there that way you don't have to put it on your pants mix colors you know all that jazz or at least i'm hoping you do otherwise i would invest in a towel today so now i'm going to close this sorry I'm, i can never close this they're hard so next i'm gonna do those side pieces yes. um it's hard to open with my left hand. So there's just two of them. And then you can see 
There's two. So most tackle boxes, when they open this part, they just kind of go down and sit out. But lucky me, I got one that slides inward, which helps conserve a lot of space. So I'm going to start with this side, and then do this side, and then go. First off, I have this nail kit. It was a 100 piece, but I've already used one, so now it's a 99 piece. And this is the nail glue right there in the middle. It's by the brand Kiss. Sorry, the, the light. It's by the brand Kiss. Can you see it now? If I move my head. If I put my head in the way. I don't know. <laughs> um, next, what's in here is a th two more pieces of that orange sponge. And some stipple sponge that obviously needs to be pulled apart into pieces. And I've already used one. They're so awesome. I love how reusable they are because they clean so easily. And it's on the floor. It's kind of hard filming with my cat in here. I feel like she's going to come and like take something. So let's just hope not. So now on to the other side. First up, I have my third degree instructions because that's always very helpful when you're uh, first, like, you're new to third degree. kind of irritates me that you can't see like my shirt it just kind of looks like a floating head so next I have a mixing palette that I was talking about by Ben and I it's just the white one I also mixed my third degree on it so it's like chunky right now because I guess my third degree didn't fully come off fun next I have a mirror and I can't exactly show you the mirror because there is a light on my camera There you are. Um, yeah. Next is this Snazaroo, that water phase paint thing that I was talking about. It also is creating a horrible reflection. Let's turn it off. Sasha, no. Sasha, no. Okay. So this is just the Snazaroo paint kit. World's favorite face and body paint. So it's obviously not alcohol activated, so you can put it all over your body and not get hurt. Okay, so now on to this box here. I'm gonna go from the top. Okay, so top like this, and like this, and like. Actually, no, I'm gonna go top, down, across, down down again across and do this container last because I go in depth with that one or it's kind of in depth compared to the rest let me see if I can actually open this this is the one that my dad got me so do you ever just like open up your makeup products and it's just like that strong smell maybe it's just because I have rigid collodion in there and I think we all know that rigid collodion smells horrible <laughs> right um so at the top, I have two like Party City Bloods from when I first started. Got that Vampire Blood and Zombie Black Blood Spray. We thought this was just going to be like a dark red. It's black, like legit black. Can you see that puddle? That's the opening. It looks like a hole. Okay, so while we're on the topic of blood, here is my favorite blood besides my homemade blood my phone again. Um, my theatrical effects blood gel. Right here in the middle I have my sticky things. So I got some oh god, it's doing it again. Uh, Cinema Secret Spirit Gum. I love the way Spirit Gum smells. I don't know, am I weird? Is that weird? Does that make anybody uncomfortable? And this disappearing color glue stick. Because I don't put my eyebrows down like you should. Oh, come on. I dropped another Next thing. is that other bottle of liquid latex I was telling you about. It's just liquid latex. I got it with some theatrical hair that I bought. And I don't have that with me. There is glue on me still. Okay. Um, that theatrical hair is actually at my dad's house. So... Fun. I know. <laughs> um, yeah, so sorry that's not there, but it's like pure white, and I think the cat might be glued shut. 
Oh, that's gross. <laughs> I just put it back in the ball. I can't remember the last time I actually had to use this one. So next below that is came with my spirit gum. So it's Cinema Secrets Adhesive Remover. Because we all know that spirit gum is hard to get off. So next is my Rigid Collodion from Mayron. And my Ben Nye Black Tooth Color. Those are not two things you want to be sharing in the compartment. Next I have two... Um, food colorings. You would expect them to be the same brand. Um, this one, I can't remember the name. I can't remember the brand, but it's just this blue. And then this one is the Kroger oh man, there's fake blood on me. Red food coloring. So now on to that last compartment. That's why I couldn't get it out. That um, I wanted to do last. So, in there are all my spatulas so we gotta have those two butter knives that you always start out with because every starter has something weird that's what I have that's really weird um, I've I used butter knives to like blend wax be like but with that butter knife it's like a legit old-timey butter knife though so it's fairly fairly soft and you can't cut yourself next is my all-time favorite spatula it's a long it's rectangular it's got a cool handle. Can you even see the grip? The grip. The grip. The grip. Yeah. And then this Kemper Tools wooden one that I've actually not used yet. I have no idea what to use it in or for. So, next is um one that it came with, so it has like the big opening and then the side piece is here. The side pieces there just have prosthetics in them that I ruined because I forgot that you need a powder latex otherwise it'll fold on itself and then rip and they've ripped and they're ruined and just yikes why are they still in there. So these are my two alcohol activated palettes. They are actually the miniature ones because they're the onset palettes. I think that they're awesome, like they're better than the full size one because the full size one is this big, about, I think it is that big, but instead of coming with like double the colors, it comes with larger. So I just have the Skin Illustrator Onset Palette, this is just like the natural one. So it's got rice paper, natural one, natural two, LAO one, LAO two. Cedar Brown, Vein Tone, Vein Tone, Coral Adjuster, um, Olive Adjuster 2, and Rose Adjuster 2. And then the other one is the Skin Illustrator's Onset FX Palette. So it's for cuts, scrapes, scabs, blood, bruises, burns, and illnesses. It's got Blood Tone, Aged Blood, Bruise Tone, Ultra Blue, Black, Prime Red, Burnt orange, prime yellow, green, and white. Sorry if you couldn't see that. But I think that they're awesome. I actually really like them. They do pr produce very good color. And that's what I have my 91% alcohol for. And most people use 99, but we could only find 91 at the time. And I got most of this from PNTA, so there's a girl named, there um, named Sammy. So Sammy, if you're watching. Um, anything between 90 and 99 will work. So, the last bin that I have is another one that it came with. Sorry, I can't put something away. Um, so it's got a big opening, but I have divided it in two, which I don't even understand why it's not doing much justice, and the container. So I'm going to start by going down and then the side. So, to start off, I have a LA Colors eyeliner in the color black that's actually like coated in latex right now, and it's irritating me. I wanted to peel it off for a while. I don't know why I didn't. I think I used it to like help do a neck wound, because I did like a neck wound on my dad that went like all the way back here, so I think I was just trying to get back there. And a Fantasy Maker's black lipstick. I like the way lipstick smells. 
and it's so old that it has a crack in the case. I only use it when I do like clown makeup and I have to cover like all right there in black. Next, um, I have two Q-tips and some toothpicks because you never know when you're going to need those. Next are those powders that I said I was going to use my bigger brushes for. The Ben Ryan Neutral Set and the Ben Nye Fair Colorless and, Colorless and Translucent Base Powders. They're this big and they're super awesome. You can tell that one's white and one's skin tone. The skin tone one you can barely even see, especially when you're like whitely colored like I am. I almost forgot a word. Um, yeah, you can barely even tell it's skin colored. And then I have a paper towel at the bottom. In case like those powders spill in the container, they're easier to clean up. Next, I have this classic Snazaroos. It's just the white one. You can probably see it better like that. So it's also the water one. Um, Water-based face and body makeup. Made in the UK which is awesome, because I am in America, obviously. Um, why did I say obviously? This is my first video, you would not know that. <laughs> um, so yeah. This is my Ben Nye Master Bruise Wheel. It's got awesome colors. And then this is the Ben Nye Burns and Blister Wheel. So yeah, those are pretty awesome as well. Um, I hope you guys Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe it gave you some tips on what you would like in your kit. Um, I promise that the next video I upload will be a tutorial. Um, I need a tripod, so I'm working on that at the moment. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though I've said that like 4,000 times now. Um, go ahead and give this, this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I would very much enjoy that and I would appreciate it so um thanks for watching